this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. So thank you so much for joining us on this Monday morning. And one way we know that the festive season is upon us is the copious amounts of lights that we see indoors and outdoors and even in our shopping malls. A tradition that comes from German descent. I must say we've taken it upon ourselves to celebrate the festive season with a whole lot of lights. Now Christmas would not be Christmas without the Joburg Wonderland of Lights. Elaborate decorations, especially lights, create a sense of awe and excitement around the festive season. The annual Garden of Lights is a display that provides an unforgettable evening, filled with wonder and a feast for the eyes. Well, Christmas time is reflecting on the year, uh, the achievements, the ups, the downs, the blessings that we're supposed to, that we often take for granted. It's all about, you know, Christ being born and it's about just reassuring them that there's always hope, there's always belief, and as long as you believe, you will be okay in life. And so for me, it's the most beautiful time of the year. With over 200 light displays and 5,000 meters of fairy lights, the Garden of Lights transforms the manicured gardens at Emperor's Palace into a dreamscape for all ages to enjoy by night. Where the whole project started was a need to do something different over Christmas, something that would let us give back to the community, and most importantly, something that would be free. The entrance is free, but what we do have is a collection box at the exit uh, where you can give donation, and this year the donation will go towards a children's charity. What you see tonight is really a build-up of eight years where we've started off with something, well, it wasn't small, we started off kind of medium, and we've added something to it every little every year. We've learned as we've gone along, and uh, we're really proud of what we have here. Public Christmas light displays became popular in the mid-20th century. And the technology now ranges from simple LED strands to illuminated animatronics and light sculptures. I think the Garden of Lights is not only a beautiful thing, it's very festive. I think it's a wonderful initiative by uh, Empress Palace. It definitely gets you ready for the festive season. My, my daughter is three now, my son is six, so this was the perfect moment to bring them and it was, it, it's worth it. They are loving it, we're being transported into a fairy tale land and um, yeah, I, I just, I couldn't think of a better way to spend an evening, I'm loving it. Oh, it's wonderful, it's an amazing experience, it was, you know, it was, uh, it was just amazing for the kids especially and we're loving it, we are really enjoying it. We have never seen such a, even in India or anywhere else in the world, such a, we, we, but the name itself sounds everything, a garden of lights, full of, you know, kids really love it a lot, I can see them enjoying everything, yeah. We came here to enjoy ourselves, it's my little girl's birthday today, so this is awesome, fantastic. Great stuff, it's beautiful, exquisite. This is an amazing experience. Wow, it is stunning. It's good experience, it's fun, it's entertaining, a lot of food. We are really, really fed and yeah, we are really enjoying ourselves, especially these two bambinos of mine. <laughs> it's awesome, like, unexplainable. It's awesome. <laughs> God of Life is one of the best I've ever seen before. From candles decorating Christmas trees to homes covered in lights to illuminated street displays and the Garden of Lights, our fascination with illumination in the festive season shows how keen we are to celebrate light and love.